And take a nice deep breath. And continue breathing here, inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through your mouth. And just allowing yourself to arrive in this moment. Bringing your awareness into your body to start. And just noticing what sensations you have in your body this morning. If you're feeling energy, balls of energy, locations in your body where it might feel tight or very open, just noticing. Noticing any tension in your body, if it needs to move around a little bit to get comfortable. Noticing how your hands are seated, seated, where your feet are, ankles. Connect yourself to the chair or the floor that you're sitting on, feeling that surface pushing back up against you. And bring our awareness back into the breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. And I invite you to bring your awareness to the space between the breaths. The space I see is a kind of vessel, the consciousness and the awareness where everything arises inside of it is always there. And as thoughts arise, they arise inside of this space, inside of this consciousness. So moving our awareness out into the room around us. I consider this uh, exercise of throwing our awareness into a certain piece of furniture in the room. Maybe it's a desk, maybe it's a chair. And just picture this piece of furniture in your mind the colors it has, the texture, moving around the edges. The things that you feel you can recollect and bring into your space of consciousness here. mentally designing what this furniture looks like. And then allow your awareness to move back into your body, leaving that piece of furniture where it is, allowing it to dissolve into the space. And then moving to throw your awareness into a conversation that you know you'll have today. Maybe that conversation's with yourself, but if there's a person you'll be talking to, imagine this conversation unfolding. Imagining the start of the conversation, the topics that might be discussed, things that you might need to remember to do. And notice how your energy pushes in to this type of conversation, whatever you chose. Notice the feeling that arises in your body. Notice if you are pushing forward, 
perhaps with a checklist, making sure that you're right. Or if you're allowing yourself to soften and just being with the energy of this conversation. In these moments, we can use our visualization to play out the conversation in our head and bring whatever energy we might like into this moment. If we may have been nervous about something before, we can bring love and calm into our body to move forward into that experience. And it all arises here in this space. And I invite you to bring your awareness back into your body and let that conversation dissolve. You can come back to it later if you want. Just unwind your thoughts and allow your energy to uncoil around that thing and move back into your body. And from here, just do a nice quick scan from the top of your head. Just noticing, noticing how your head is, temperature changes around the nose, moving down the neck, shoulders, rib cage, solar plexus area, hips, thighs, knees, ankles and toes, you can always bring your awareness back into your body as like an anchor point. So from here, let's move to drop a grounding cord from our pelvis down through the floorboards. Notice if your anchor or if your grounding cord has a specific color today. or texture, or weight, or thickness. And starting by the top of the floorboards, just beginning to move down through all the layers of the earth and wrapping around the crystalline core center of our planet. And just notice what it feels like to be anchored here. Bring yourself and your awareness back into your breath and the space between the breaths. And we're going to move our awareness into our heart center. And we're going to start generating light and attention here with five breaths. Inhaling through the nose, breathing light and oxygen into the space and exhale as it stokes that fire and nourishes and grows hotter and brighter. Inhaling through the nose and exhale. A few more here. Inhaling that love and oxygen. Last inhale. And exhale, allowing that light and oxygen to just saturate your heart center, like that glowing light in your heart, in your chest space, allowing it to expand as it wants to, or just stay the same size, whatever feels right this morning. And from here, we're going to move into an exercise of transmuting pain and suffering into light and freedom from suffering. 
So generally, when we think about pain, we want to contract. We want to move away from what we feel pain is. And inside of the creative process, we are capable of moving pain through our body and turning it into something else. So in this exercise, I invite you to imagine a person in your life, any person, and just imagine them coming right into the front of your space right now, standing in front of you. And I invite you to inhale and imagine taking in their pain and suffering. And on the exhale, allowing it to move through your body, through the heart center and come back to them as pure love and light. Inhaling through your nose, watching as the pain and suffering leaves their body, is transformed in your heart center. And as you exhale, breathing that love, light, and freedom from pain and suffering back to them. Continue to do this. You may feel a resistance that comes up. It won't feel necessarily natural sometimes to take that pain and suffering into our body and then move it through. And if that resistance comes up, just allow it to process in your heart center and continue to turn it into love, freedom, and light. And I invite you to bring more people into this group that's standing in front of you. So perhaps it's your family, perhaps it's a group at work, perhaps it's this group on the call right now. Just imagining inhaling pain and suffering from those people into your body and transmuting it, filtering it through your heart center and exhaling love, light and freedom from pain back to them. And as we continue to do this, I invite you to imagine this group getting bigger and bigger with every breath. Just continuing to move that energy into your body filtering it, transmuting it, and sending it right back out in its new form. And as this group of people grows, bring yourself into this group now. Standing with everyone else, inhaling your own pain and suffering along with the pain and suffering from the group. transmuting it and filtering it through your heart center and exhaling that love, that light and the freedom from pain and back to yourself and back to the group. This exercise can be done for hours. It can be done for minutes. And as we continue to transmute and move this energy in and out of our body, I invite you to just imagine this going on repeat for a moment and move your attention back to the space between your breaths. The consciousness and awareness where both pain and suffering and love and light arise. The awareness is there in that moment, holding the creation as it comes in and out. 
And the awareness is there for everyone else on this call and everyone else in the group that we just worked with. So as we move through what our power to create and transform is, I invite you to just watch that it's the awareness that is the space for all of creation to arise. And you are the awareness here and now and in every moment. It is your authority and your sovereignty to throw your attention wherever you choose, wherever it serves you, to experience it completely. And I invite you to allow that and exercise with the group to fall away. And before we do, just send gratitude for those people and the energy that you worked with today. Give them thanks for joining you in this practice and send them on their way with love and light. And moving our awareness back to our heart center, placing one hand over our heart Breathing, inhaling, light and love into the heart. Exhaling, allowing it to continue to grow hotter and brighter. This is the space that you can operate from whenever you want. As situations arise throughout the day, it is not our natural behavior to take in other people's projection of pain and suffering. But through this exercise, we know that we can simply transform it into something else and send it back to them as a new creation of energy. So bringing your awareness back into your body, back into your heart center, making sure that you're not picking up anything from anyone that may have come and joined in on the exercise. So I invite you to invoke what we call a purity blast. It's like an upside down tornado. And as it spins, it removes and pulls out anything from your energy field that is not your own. And it can be very quick. And the intention and the verbalization is I now command a purity blast. I command that anything that is not for my highest good leaves my space now. Anything that is not from the light leaves my space now. And anything that is not from my highest path leaves my space now. With a blast, just imagine anything that doesn't serve you to leave your space, move out of the periphery of your energy field, and transmute into light. And finally, I invite you to bring your awareness back into your heart center, bring your awareness back into your body, back into the room. And when you're ready, you can slowly come and open your eyes.